we have been witnessing a revolution or an evolution in car technology. You probably know that m many of the uh, Japanese cars, like the Honda CRV or the Honda Jazz, are very, very fuel efficient uh, vehicles already. They, they are known as gasoline sippers. Then the next generation uh, that we are witnessing are the hybrids, and I was pleasantly surprised to be driven in one yesterday when I was picked up from the airport. Then, the, following the hybrid, there's a big move now to have what are called the plug-in hybrids. That is, you would still have two engines, you would have a substantial battery on board, and you would be actually charging your car at home or at the charging station and driving it mostly on electric mode. But should you run out of juice, run out of power, then your gasoline engine, a smaller one, kicks in and it takes you up to the point where you can get a charge. And of course the last one is the electric vehicle itself, a very simple technology which is based on uh, electric engine with batteries. Now the, the batteries are yet to become, uh, I would say, fully uh, packed with energy that can give you a substantial range. I will explore some uh, in, this, in this presentation. I'll show you some of the models that are coming on, on the market. Now, the, the history of the electric car goes back to the time the car itself was invented and the early cars were driven on batteries, they were electric cars. And then lately we saw uh, on this vehicle that was used on the moon, made by Boeing, was an electric vehicle. But what happened after that? Right now we are witnessing some 10 major manufacturers are coming up with at least 10 production. The Mini is already on the market. The Citroën, Fisca, the Nissan Leaf, the Mitsubishi, you name it. And by 2012, some 20 production models should be available. And the consensus in the industry is that there shall be about 3 million plug-in cars in uh, use worldwide by 2050. So you can see that this is a happening thing. 